The ban on foreign flagged cruise ships entering Australian waters could be over as soon as December 18th. So what's next? I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy, and as always, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Starting on March 27th, 2020, no foreign flagged cruise ship has been permitted to enter Australian waters. As 2020 carried on, the ban was reviewed and extended by the Australian Health Principal Protection Committee until December 17th. Just yesterday, the Cruise Line International Association revealed its plan to have the cruising ban replaced with a conditional process that would allow cruise lines to progress towards a carefully managed resumption of safe cruising in 2021. Like I myself have suggested in previous videos, Joel Katz of CLIA said, this would initially involve restricted local cruises for local residents only, with limited passenger numbers, 100% testing of guests and crew, and extensive screening and sanitation protocols in place. Initially operating within state and national borders, even while international travel restrictions remain in place, means that cruising could begin again domestically. With a considered approach to bringing cruise ships back down into Australian waters with crew that have been subjected to all required quarantine processes, we effectively create an extension to our Australian domestic travel bubble. As you know, if you've been keeping up with any of these developments, cruise lines have developed some fantastic protocols that are using world's best practice in order to mitigate the health risk associated with cruising. These include pre-boarding testing and of course, enhanced sanitization. These same protocols have been the basis for big ship cruising to restart around the world in other markets such as Italy, Taiwan and Singapore. CLIA have appealed to the Australian government to have these changes come into effect from December 18th to allow for cruising to begin the process of resuming. Personally, I believe that this will happen and that it will happen soon. And I anticipate that there will be a raft of new itineraries that are focused on local and domestic destinations coming out in the next few months. No doubt these will end up being a proving ground of sorts. CLIA and cruise lines will be able to establish a safe environment for cruising to resume, which will eventually be extended into New Zealand and the South Pacific. With a vaccine on the horizon, it seems only more likely that this path will begin to emerge soon. So what do you think about these recent developments? I certainly hope that this is how we're going to be progressing from here. And my thoughts are that the government will be making an announcement soon. Certainly they could go the other way and decide to extend the ban on foreign flagged vessels entering Australian waters, but I hope that they take on board these measures and make the right decision, which I think is to get cruising back up and running as soon as possible in a domestic sense and of course as safe as possible. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully there's more good news to bring to you soon. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at The Cruise and Travel Guy. If you are interested in booking anything in terms of travel or cruise, you can head to my website thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. The ban on foreign flagged Australian. Nope. The Australian Health Principal Authority. Nope. The ban was reviewed and extended by the Australian Health Protection Protection. Principal Protection. As 2020 carried on, the review was extended as 2020 carried on, the ban was reviewed and extended by the Australian Health Protection. As 2020 carried on, the ban was reviewed and extended by the Australian Health Principal Protection Committee. And then I didn't get the end of it because I was focused on the name. The local cruising commencement would allow for domestic travel bubble to be extended. Let's try that again in English.